Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making no bake peanut butter cheesecake. I first saw this recipe while searching for an easy no bake type of peanut butter recipe and I came across this particular one on the website missinthekitchen.com and I have linked that website below in the description box if you'd like to visit it. This recipe it is easy to make which is the theme here on this channel and it is rich and delicious and those Reese's peanut butter cups that are layered throughout really take this dessert to another level as always recipe info can be found in the description box along with links to the products that I use in this video and while you're here don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and notification bell to be notified of new recipes first Okay, to get started with this recipe, you'll need a large mixing bowl and add your softened cream cheese to it, peanut butter, and powdered sugar. And you want to beat this with a hand mixer until it's smooth. Once everything is smooth, then add six ounces of whipped topping to the mixture and beat until well combined. Place the filling into a piping bag or a zip top bag so that you can pipe this into the individual glasses or bowls. Pipe in some of the cheesecake filling and then put a layer of peanut butter cups and then pipe more cheesecake filling and add more peanut butter cups until you reach the top. Add a dollop of whipped topping to each dessert along with a whole mini peanut butter cup. Refrigerate these desserts for two to three hours or until ready to eat. This recipe makes about four to six servings depending on the size of the glass or bowl that you're using and in this recipe I am using 10 ounce juice glasses. This dessert is extremely tasty and it only takes five minutes to prepare and I'm always loving the fact that it's only five ingredients. As with any recipe on this channel, feel free to make it your own. If you like more peanut butter cups and what I've added or if you like less, then make the adjustments. If you like to make this a bigger recipe, you can also double and triple it. Let me know in the comments how you modify this recipe. I love hearing the things that you all do to change the recipe up and accommodate your needs. And I just wanted to jump in right here and just say how much I appreciate you all. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I love hearing your comments when you make these desserts and you tell me how it turned out. So continue doing that. I really appreciate the feedback. If you 
like this video then please give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of new recipes first thank you all for joining me today and until next time take care of yourself and each other And since you're still here, check out some of my other most recent videos.